Jesus! Did you guys see that? Holy cow! He jumped out of the water for it. One of the most annoying things about being a weekend warrior is your inability to control the weather. It never fails that while you're at work, the weather's beautiful, and as soon as the weekend rolls around, so does the bad weather. I've taken you guys with me over the last couple months despite the fact that I've really been struggling, and I'm hoping that today I can turn it around. That's a suspicious one. Nice brown, guys. Swinging the streamer. It's a real nice fish. Come on. Stay peg. I want to get down below him real quick. Let's go, boys. Holy cow. That's so funny, man. I haven't been struggling to catch fish. Struggling. I've been fishing for... It is 11.17. And I started fishing around 8 o'clock. And I've quite literally not seen a fish. Alright, guys. Here's my... Here's my brown trout. Beautiful little fish. He's got, like, really orange colors, but he didn't have very many spots. And if you look at it, the yellow on his belly, real sparsely spotted brown trout. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. So I'm going to go ahead and let this guy go and keep fishing, I guess. First fish of the day. And it's a nice one at that. I just hooked a nice brown. Holy cow. I'm in trouble. I threw, I took one last Hail Mary. I think he's foul hooked, which is why he's fighting like he is, but he's still a big fish. I have no idea how this thing stayed hooked. What a nice fish. I threw up there and like had slack line and was like about ready to set or about ready to strip and literally ripped the rod in my hand. I almost dropped the rod. It's a nice fish, but he's not like huge. I'm gonna try to get below him here. Kind of in a weird position, so I don't know what you guys are seeing, but oh no, he's not snagged. Or he's not that hooked. Oh, I've never had a brown trout do what this brown trout's doing. Or did. It's impressive. Okay, let's see if I can land him here. Can you come over here, buddy? He really doesn't want to. 
Not that I could blame them. Let's just step out a little bit so I'm out of this tree. Okay, come on over here. Oh, it's another nice brown trout. He, oh my gosh, I wish I was recording for it, but I cast it in there like a freaking half a billion times. Let's scoot back up here somewhere where I can actually stand up. Another like 16 inch brown. Oh my gosh. All right guys, so here he is. Here's the screamer. He got the back hook in the back of his mouth there. He just sm smashed this thing though. Male brown. What an awesome fish though, look at that guy. I'm gonna go ahead and unhook him. Okay, this one actually might be a tad bit longer than my last one. He might be like 17, whereas the other one was 16 or something. But look at those fins on this wild brown. I mean, what an awesome freaking brown trout. This one's a male. See his white, white on the tips of his fins. His tail's kind of got a reddish maroon color on it. His adipose here. He's gonna let me show off his adipose. Give me a second. I know, buddy. If you want me to show off your adipose, I'll let you go here in a second. Look at his adipose. And the colors on that fish. That's just an incredible looking creature right there. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. So this has been like a very typical high water fishing day. I've been throwing, I threw, well, I started out the day not, I literally have seen two fish and I've caught the two fish that I've seen. I started out the day with nothing, kept switching streamers, switching streamers, switching streamers, and finally landed on like the old faithful, just like black sex dungeon. And the first fish I caught was just an unreal looking fish. He's probably like 16 inches or so. On the swing, about ripped the rod out of my hand. And this fish I just caught, I just threw a Hail Mary cast, like, I don't know, how many feet is that? 30 feet, 40 feet up there? When I'm fishing up river and I'm trying to bring the streamer back down towards me in the current, making casts that long are a bad idea. So I'd already stopped recording. I was like, I'll do it before I walk, try to walk up and get closer. My streamer hit the water. I got one strip in, slack line, literally ripped the rod out of my hand. I thought he was like a, I thought for sure I'd hook like a 20 inch fish. But, I mean, that was a nice one. I'm not gonna complain. And it's been a very tough but rewarding day to kind of stick with it. It's 12.30 now. I think the fish I showed you guys earlier was 11.30, so it's been about an hour since I've seen a fish. And, yeah, I'm gonna keep going because I'm pretty excited. I feel like, I have a gut feeling that there's a chance that if I keep fishing from 12.30 until like 5.30, that I might be able to hook like a pushing 20 inch brown trout if I keep moving water and keep hitting these slack pockets and stuff, so. Let's do it. I just caught. Look at the colors on this fish. There's just like, there's like pinkish looking like spots. Just an unreal on the color department on this one. He's kind of similar to that first one I caught with the colors, but he's got um, the spots kind of like the second one. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go and then keep fishing. It's been a heck of a day for sizable browns. This one might be the biggest one I've caught. He's probably, he's definitely like 16, 17 again. Just awesome, awesome fish.
Jesus! Did you guys see that? Holy cow! He jumped out of the water for it. Oh my gosh, he is fighting. He's a nice fish. Oh my gosh. That was freaking crazy, to be honest with you. He's a dark one. Can you come into me? Thank you, buddy. Wow, what a fish, man. About broke my wrist. Wrist. Oh man, that hit was insane. I hope you guys could see that hit as well as I could see that hit. What are we doing here, buddy? He's probably the smallest one. Well, maybe he's not, honestly. He's about the size of all the other fish I've been catching. Probably like that 16 inch range. Boy, the teeth on these fish. Just wow. Just wow. All right, guys. Here's that fish that I just caught. Streamer's still in his mouth. Just a gorgeous fish. All these fish are just so pretty. He's probably 15 to 16 inches. Mouthful of meat. Doesn't get much better than that. I'm gonna go ahead and unhook him and then let him go. All right, guys, so just caught another one finally. I've been fishing, so that last fish that you saw me catch where I was like tripped and fell and the fly was just laying in the water and I somehow caught a fish, that was at uh, 1.30, which was about an hour after I caught the one at 12.30 and it is currently four o'clock. So I went from 1.30 to four o'clock without even so much as seeing a fish. And then just randomly right here, I had a brown trout quite literally jump out of the water for the streamer. So all the hits today have been kind of crazy. I had one hit while I was like swinging in the streamer. I had one hit and about ripped the rod out of my hand, which I didn't have that on camera, unfortunately. And then I had uh, the one hit where I was just like, the streamer was just laying in the water. I wouldn't even do anything to it. And then this one about jumped out of the water for it, so. Yeah, it's been, it's been an interesting day. Four fish on the day, and I've worked my butt off for those four fish. I mean, it's four o'clock. I started fishing at eight, so I've been fishing for eight hours now, which means I'm averaging a fish every other hour. So, streamer fishing is not a game of numbers, but the fish have been beautiful, and they've been pretty decently sized for this particular river. So, yeah, I'm gonna fish for about another hour or so, and then I'm gonna get out of here. So I'm back at the car. It is 4.40. I fished for another like 30-ish minutes or so and a little over 30 minutes. And I fished to the end of the stretch and there's like one good hole that I wanted to fish, but I can't cross the river to get in the correct position to fish it. So I'm probably just gonna call it a day because uh, the fishing has just been like really, really, really slow for this river. Uh, the fish I've caught have been really nice size but it's been really slow and I don't think it has to do with the water level. I think it has to do with the fact that it's cold. I think the water temperature is 37 or something like that. And uh, it's 36 degrees outside, so the water's not warming up. If anything, it's getting colder. It's just dropping throughout the day. And it's just like a sunny bluebird sky and the fish just are not, uh, they're just not firing on all cylinders, let's say that. So anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed another streamer fishing episode, or streamer fishing video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.